Hi everyone, I'm Nando. I'm German. And today we have something to confess. <sighs> Guys, we're here to confess that we are murderers. Yeah, we are. <laughs> because we kill plants. We kill plants. This poor baby was so beautiful like two weeks ago. Look how crunchy it is. Yeah. And we did everything to keep her alive or him alive. And except it just... water it and except love it and except put it near some sun. Okay. But we're going to show you how in spite of you not having a green thumb, if you have a black thumb, we're gonna help you become that plant grower that you always wish you were. Because, you know, it's it's really easy. And German's actually, I'm gonna show you how to grow it, and German's actually gonna show you how to decorate it. Yes, with some twigs. Very simple. So you guys ready? All right, let's go. Let's start. What I have before you is the pothos plant. Now, the pothos plant is probably the easiest plant to keep alive. As you saw earlier, we pretty much kill anything. In fact, we have gone to Home Depot and Lowe so many times and bought amazing, beautiful looking plants, trees, and within two weeks, three weeks, they're dead. One time though, we even bought a huge palm tree and we just knew we were gonna kill it, so we gave it away, right? And my friend called us two weeks later saying that we had given her flying spiders in the tree. So not even if we give it away can we keep a plant alive. I think she had to like kill it or something because uh, we gave her flying spiders. But the patho, this is the patho plant or it's called the devil's ivy. So easy to keep alive because if you forget to water it, it tells you water me. This is the signal for the plant saying water me. You see it's kind of wilted a little bit. It needs water, right? This one is nice and perky because the leaves are perking up. So one reason to get a pothos plant is they're easy to take care of. Two, they tell you what they need. I need water. Um, they grow in the direction of the sunlight. So do you see how this one is kind of like pointing that way? That's because we have a facing sun that way. This one's wilted, so in fact, I'm gonna water it and maybe by the end of the, the video, it'll be nice and perky. So all of these, these three are not separate plants. They all came from this one. It's the original one. So this is what I would do is I would go in here, for example, right here, and the roots, you'll see these knots those are actually root points. So here's one right here, here's another one right here. So you go and you just cut a piece off that's gonna have a root point. Oh, let me find a better one. I have this wrapped around. Okay, here's a perfect one. So I'm gonna cut it. here and what I do is I believe you can put it immediately in dirt and plant it I like for it to sprout roots so I keep I put it in this is just a mustard jar that we cleaned out and this is our like our rooter maker right so I just put it in here in water and I keep it around maybe two weeks one week two weeks and all of a sudden you see the roots start sprouting like crazy. Once it gets to this level, then I plant it. Usually what I'll do is, these are two pieces, I'll wait for both of them to root, and then I'll plant them together. So these two, exactly what I did to get these two, all from this one. And before you know it, People think you have a green thumb, and you can lie, and you say, oh yes, I know everything about the pothos plant, um, but it'll be our secret, just between me and you. And that's it, that's how you create plants from one, and the rooting system. Easy peasy, you can do it. 
To set up your project, first you're gonna need a flower pot, pruning shears, twine, and some scissors. Oh, but most important, some twigs. You go around your neighborhood, collect the twigs, come home, and uh, decide what size you want them, how long do you want them to be. You cut them all into one piece, one size, and after that, you just tie them up. Like you tie your shoe, you tie your shoe, very simple. One, two, three. One, two, three. And okay, so here, this is how it's looking. See, it doesn't have to be perfect, as long as you uh, you want you want to give it that um, unique look. Let me show you the final product. Here. And this is what you're gonna end up with. You just pull it around, tie them up, and voila comes together so now I'm just gonna have to cut this because I have way too much and make a really nice make a really nice bow or tie right here once the top is done let's do the bottom and There you have it. Now we have a new planter. Give me a thumbs up if you like this project, this product, and let me know if you're gonna do it at home too, okay? Those of you that keep coming back, thanks for watching. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. We do do-it-yourself projects like this all week. Don't forget to leave us a comment and give us a thumbs up if you like this video. So that's it guys. These tips will hopefully get you to grow plants and not be afraid of keeping them in your house. But also decorate the planter too. And avoid being a serial killer yes. like us. Because mm -hmm. remember, if, if we, we can, can do it, you can do it. it.